Seconds out, delighted to be joined by a Commonwealth middleweight champion, Felix Cash. How have you been getting on through lockdown? I know you haven't been back in the gym for that long, at uh, Tony's gym, I mean. Yeah, we're getting all right. Um, it's a bit the same as everyone, wasn't it? It was a bit, bit of a killer, especially from my last camp. I found out, done a 10-week done a camp and found out a week before fight night that um, everything was called off. So that was a bit of a sickness and a bit of a down, obviously, for all the hard work, dying, getting down on weight, especially not only being a week away. Um, so now it was a bit of a nightmare. I was a bit down, to be honest. But um, now don't pick yourself up, dust yourself off, don't you? And um, through lockdown, I just kept ticking over, done a bit of running and that and... You know, just weren't a lot to do, was there? Weren't a lot to, I was to do then train, really. So I just done a bit of running a bit bits and pieces. But I'm glad to be back in the gym now and getting ready for this next one. I heard it got quite competitive about the running on the group chat with you and the rest of Tony's lads. Is that right? Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did, yeah. Who, 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 was, uh, who was kind of the leader? Who was doing well at the runs? And the runs at the moment, it's all different runs. The runs we've got at the moment, oh, oh yeah, with the, with, the, with the long distance runs. I think Mark, Mark, Martin Maud was doing, was doing the, the longest <laughs> runs, I think, out of, out of, out of everyone. Um, um, John Ryder's doing a few long runs. We're, we're all doing a bit of a bit of long run. It was all about time and who's doing, who's doing the best time. So, <laughs> no, was, um, I, just, I just stuck to a normal, a normal pace. So I, I didn't really get too much into the competitive side of the running. What's it like now to be back in the gym around all your friends and, and Tony as well? Oh, mate, it's a breath of fresh air, really. You know what I mean? Back home, back there, where, where we're so used to being in routine. You know what I mean? You're in a routine every day. You know what you're doing every day um, for your boxing. Like, you know, we know what we normally do when in routine during the week. And then all of a sudden, to be a, it's probably the same with even people that ain't in sport, but um, they obviously ain't working. When you're used to being in a routine, all of a sudden, you've got all this time in your hands and um, you're doing nothing. You're thinking, you know, you're, you're fiddling your thumbs, thinking, what, what, what do I do now? Okay, I've done, I've done a run for what, 40 minutes of the day, and you're going around with really with nothing to do. So, to be honest with you, it's fucking, it's a difficult time, isn't it? You know, you want to get, especially, you want to get out there, and, and then financially, everyone, everyone wants to fight, don't they? So, uh, it was a bit of a nightmare, really, but, you know, we're back We're back now. It looks like we'll, we'll turn the corner and, and boxing starting back up. So, I'm looking forward now for, you know, August and, Getting, getting out there and, and let my frustration help in World War. <laughs> you were last out in November. Exciting fight for the fans against Jack Cullen. But from your point of view, and I suppose Tony's point of view, was it a bit too exciting? Would he have rather you got less involved? Yeah, probably a bit too exciting. I, I been, if, I, if, I, if I weren't so rusty, I reckon I would have got him out there a lot early. And earlier, um, you know, I dropped him, brushed my work afterwards and, you know, fair play to him. He stuck in there and put a bit of a fight up. Um, it's just one of them things. You got, you just got to go with it, innit? Some, sometimes, you know, a fight, you know, you, you, you can make it easier work, and sometimes I work. But the main thing is, is getting the win, and and and, and, and that's the main thing, getting the win. But you know, it was an awkward opponent, really, because you couldn't really stand back to, from from too long because he was so tall and so rangy. He weren't like I thought. You know, if I stand back from him, he's just going to pick. You know, it's hard. It's hard to stand back because he, he's, he's obviously he's, he's got a longer reach than that. So. I just, I just stuck in there, stuck on him, and I knew I was hurting him. You know, I was hitting him little body shots inside, and you know, I could feel him. I could feel him weakening and fading. Don't get me wrong; he probably out of a fight, but you know, I knew it was only a matter of time before before I got him out of there. When Eddie Hearn first told you about Fight Camp and what it was all about, and the fact that he wanted you to headline one of the shows, how did you feel about it? Because obviously, it's exciting; it's your first headline fight on Sky Sports. But the flip side is, there's going to be no fans there. So, what what was your reaction? Listen, it's going to be a bit weird. Even before he told me that I was headlining, I mean, I just found out that I was just going to be just going to be on one of the shows at first. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's going to be weird, isn't it? You know, um, now and now. But then I thought, I said, listen, when, when you get in that ring and that bell goes, someone's trying to take your head off. You won't be long getting in the groove and sucking yourself up and, and knowing that you're in a fight. So, um, it's no matter where it is, there's a fight at the end of the day. There's only two years in the ring at the end of the day and a referee, and, and that's still going to be still going to be the case on, 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 on fight camp. So it's just um, it's one of the things we have to deal with. And um, it'd be great. it's going to be great to be even be involved with and be, and be a part of anyway. Because looking back in years to come, you're going to be in a bit of part of history. And, and it's, it's a great thing to say, you know, back then when, when, when that was there, uh, I was a part of it and I was a part of the part of the first shows back. So it'd be a great thing to look, at, look, look back on, um, I think, in years to come. For 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 a personal point of view and and um, and be a bit be a part of it, be a part of history there really. And you're not just part of it; you're the main event, and it's the first time in yeah. your you know quite still fresh pro career 
that you've been in the main event, you must be pretty yeah. excited by that. Yeah, really, really excited. It's a great, it's a great, it's a great um, platform and a great. It's a great, it's a great thing for me now to, be, to you know, be live on Sky Sports, top of the bill. A lot of people are going to be tuning in. Obviously, they've been staff and, staff and boxing for a while, and you know, it's great. It's a great opportunity now for me to put a great, great performance on, and um, you know, raise my profile as as as, as a boxer and and, uh, and get my name out there um, amongst amongst you know some of the big names. It's August the fourteenth, of course. Your opponent's Jason Wellborn, former world title challenger down at one fifty four, former British champion at your weight. What what do you make of him at this stage of his career? What are his kind of strengths and weaknesses? Listen, he's, he's, he, he, listen. He, he comes to fight. He's strong. He's he, you know he comes to fight, and he's a tough man. And he's been in with some top 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 operators. You know, I, I won't take nothing away from him. But he's also been beat by them top operators. So you know, that's another way of looking at it. So listen. Every time he gets in with a top rope where he seems to come up short. And um, I believe that I'm a top operator. And um, and I believe that, you know, he, he might take and make it tough for a few rounds, but I reckon I'll get him in the end. Do you think size will be a significant factor in this fight? You always look like a big middleweight and he's uh, fought mainly at 154, even 147 in the past. Yeah. yeah. No, really, I don't think size is going to make a difference. You know, he's been up a middleweight. He's been British champion at middleweight. And, you know, I don't think size is really going to make a difference. It's going to be who's a better fighter. And um, I believe I'm a, I'm a better fighter than him. But listen, anything can happen in the night. Boxing's a funny sport and anything can happen. And, you know, the best man will win on the night. But um, I believe, and I believe that will be me. But time will tell and we'll have to wait and see on, 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 on the 14th of August. Um, but I reckon it'll be, it'll be a good fight as long as it lasts and, um, and put on put a good, good show for the fans. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to, really, really looking forward to, 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 um, to the 14th of August and getting back in the ring and, you know, and get my name out there, like you say, headline, headlining for the first time. And um, hopefully it won't be the last. All the, if it all goes well for you on the 14th, what are the longer term aims? I mean, is the British title something you want to win on the way through to where you want to go? Listen, I, I, I definitely, I, I definitely would like the Lonsdale belt. Obviously, it's a lovely belt. It's one of the greatest domestic, domestic belts you can have. Um, so, you know, I'd love to have that belt and um, I'd love to fight for it. Um, but listen, one fight at a time, get this fight out of the way. And if something bigger comes up, obviously, if something bigger comes up, I'll grab it with both hands. But, um, you know, like I say, the one last fight I was meant to be fighting is Rock Green. Um, everything, oh, sorry, right. lost you there. No, you're right. Lost you there. Um, I was meant to be fighting Rock Green. Um, it never got pronounced the fight, but, you know, um, the deal was done and we're just waiting for the announcement. And then obviously that happened um, happened beforehand. But, um you know, I'm looking at stepping up and I'm looking at, you know, getting up there now into the big fights. I'm 27 years age. I know I've only had 12 pro fights. But I've been in the game a long time. Um, so listen, get him, get get well one out of the way. Whatever the biggest the biggest fight for me and the, and the biggest fight and the, big, the biggest fight that's going to get me up in the rankings, that's the fight I want. Brilliant. And before we let you go, I think we've asked this before, but just for people that are a bit slow to the Felix Cash journey, if you like, how can they find you on social media and get involved? Yeah, um, you can look me up on Instagram, Felix Cash Boxer, um, same for Twitter, and obviously Felix Cash um, for Facebook. You post quite a lot on Instagram, don't you? You're worth yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You're, you're always there with the content. You seem to be training constantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just stick in, you show everyone that, what we're doing and what we're up against. Great stuff. All right, well, I really appreciate your time. Thanks to Jimmy for, for lending us the facilities. Cheers, Jimmy. All right. All right. All right. Um, yeah, no. really appreciate it. And hopefully see you in the gym soon. All right. See you soon, mate. Thanks for the time, yeah? All right, mate. Take care. Yeah. Take care.